Hey guys, Jason Lanier here. Uh, this is a video about the Canon 135 F2 on the Sony A7R3 with the Metabones Mark IV adapter. There's also a lot of stuff in here for posing, where the model follows and emulates kind of the actions and the poses that I do. And I want to apologize up front, our mic system uh, went out on us, and so we only had onboard mics for this shoot. So it's not as good as audio as you're normally used to, but uh, still there's a lot of stuff in here, and I'm going to voice over a lot of it anyway. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, my name is Jason Lanier. You probably know that already. Her name is Ashley. You probably did not know that already. She's an amazing model that I've shot with for many years here on Maui. I am here at the abandoned Sugar King factory. That's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to do a natural light only shoot for you guys today with the A7R3 using the Metabones Mark IV adapter with the Canon 135F2 lens. Anybody who's a portrait photographer of any renown knows that 135 is a magical, magical place. It's an awesome place for lenses. Um, when I first switched to Sony, I shot with a 135 1.8 Sony Zeiss A mount lens, and it's a phenomenal lens. It's legendary, it's beautiful. I did a lot of videos with it. Zeiss came out with their Zeiss Vatus 135 f 2.8. Why they would create a 135 at 2.8 when you get any range from 70 to 200 at 2.8 and get the same compression is beyond me because the Sony uh, G Master 7200 is a phenomenal lens. So why anybody would buy the 135 2.8 when you do the 7200 2.8 is beyond me. I don't know why they did that. This is the Canon 135 f2, so it's a faster lens than the Zeiss Vatus, and it's cheaper, and it works great on Sony cameras. If you're going to use Canon lenses adapted to Sony bodies, don't waste your time. The Sony bodies they're going to work best on are going to be the a7R3, the a9, the a7R2, the a6500, and the a6300. If you shoot them on bodies other than those, you're probably going to be a little bit uh, unhappy with the results. So I'm just letting you guys know. Use them on the bodies that I just discussed and you'll be very happy. The crazy thing is the Canon 135 F2 focuses better and faster on a Sony camera than the Sony Zeiss A-mount 135 1.8. This is my plea, my call to Sony, Mount Sony. Please, please, please give us a 135 E-mount lens that's not 2.8. The, the Zeiss Bat is 2.8. It's a great lens. I screwed around with it at Sammy's camera, but it's great at 2.8. But again, I already talked about it. I mean, I have a G Master at 2.8. Why am I going to buy a Zeiss Batis at 2.8? That's stupid. Okay? So, please, Sony or somebody out there, create us a native E mount 135 F2 or faster, preferably F1.8. I have so many of my followers asking for this lens. We're asking for this lens. Please make the damn lens. Okay? like one of the only lenses out there that Sony E-mount doesn't have that's native. So that's why I'm doing this shoot with the 135 Canon F2. So I'm going to shoot this beautiful young lady here today and show you just how epic shots can be at 135. The reason 135 is so beautiful is because it gives you a beautiful compression. And when you get a wide aperture lens with that compression, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal result. You ready to shoot? Ready. All right, sister. Go down that direction. So guys, you're going to see here with this test shot, straight out of the box, why 135 is such an awesome lens. Um, I Again, I remember when I fell in love with this thing when I first switched to Sony and tried the Sony 135 1.8 A-mount, and just the results were amazing on it. But you look at the compression, you look at the way that it renders the background, it's truly a remarkable lens. This was a location we were able to get into that was super awesome. It was this abandoned sugarcane factory here in Maui, Hawaii, and uh, I got the opportunity to shoot it. And uh, you'll notice this entire shoot was done with natural light. Here I have the model Ashley mirroring um, my posing techniques. Earlier on in my career I had to do a lot of posing where I'd have to help the model, but now I'm experienced enough to where they can really emulate a lot of what I do just by mirroring the, the motions that I do with my body and then they do, it on, they do it on their own. You have to be comfortable with yourself to kind of do some of the things you're asking models to do, but if you can find your way there it'll really be beneficial for you helping men, women, children, whoever to pose the way that you want them to pose. 
Um, here I got her to laugh and create a natural smile. I think that's important when you're shooting. You want that, that look to be natural. You don't want it to be forced. And that's something that I do is I try to get my clients in uh, the framework of where I want to shoot them, get the lighting, get the pose, get everything else, and then have them interact with me, which really helps to create some really awesome shots. Here's some more uh, examples of, of me showing them, showing the model exactly what I want her to do. Uh, getting everything straight and then shooting. One thing I'll tell you with the 135 is uh, I think the only caveat to this is you have to stand far enough back to where you can get the shots. But you look at the lines, that's where you take a lens like this. Now here you're going to hear my voice uh, as I was shooting because I was standing so close to the camera. The mic's pretty good so I'm going to let you guys listen in. Put your head this way. There we go. Beautiful. Look, turn, look the other way. Sit on the bench. Uh, whatever that thing is, the box. Great. Great. Kind of like your board. I want it ladylike, but I kind of want it like, in other words, put the skirt down in the front so you're nice and covered. Yeah, like you're taking a break. There we go. Yeah, I love that. Bring your knees together. Now you're kind of giving yourself a break. There you go. Turn, look off that way. Beautiful. Chin down. Now I'm losing your left hand, so bring, um, Put your elbow up on that. There we go, fantastic. There you go, I love that. One, two, three. Bring your, I'm missing your right foot with that hose, so bring your foot, there you go. Yep, pull that back. There we go, beautiful. Yep, that's what I want, like a shot, like you're just hot, it's humid, it's Hawaii, so that makes sense, and you're just ready to take a break. Look at me. Yeah, directly at me, yeah. Definitely more of a shot like your, your, there you go. Yeah, much more pinup-y. Turn to look right, yeah, turn to look right at me. Gorgeous, one, two, three. Turn your head to the right, all the way. So in all of these shots, guys, what we're looking for is really chasing the light. So you'll see that that light's hitting her coming down from above and this whole area, this whole warehouse was perfect for natural light because of the fact that it was diffused. You had a lot of diffused light coming in, diffused from windows, uh, ceiling panels, whatever else it may be and it made for beautiful light. And something I always say is I choose natural light first and add light when needed and that's what we did here for some awesome shots. For those wondering about the sharpness and accuracy of the focus system using the A7R through the Canon lens, I threw in a super crop here. You can see it caught that front eye of hers and it looks great. Beautiful, we got it. Yeah. Great job. Yay. High five. So dirty. My buddy Chris, who assisted with the shoot, actually grabbed just a piece of board that was there and we used it as a white reflector for some of those shots, which uh, was super cool really out of the box MacGyver way to think. Um, Facebook and Instagram, um, underscore I-O-L-A-N-I. -I. That's my modeling artist page. You can also contact me through Bliss Models in Tallinn in Hawaii, VIP Ignite on the East Coast, Reach Agency, and Alicia Quebec. Perfect. She's in Pennsylvania, Perfect. but worldwide. Perfect. Well, thank you, Miss Worldwide. Thanks. You too, mister. It's a great pleasure to be able to work with you. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. My for pleasure. My pleasure. Helping us get in here. Very much appreciated. Thank you to A and B Company for allowing us to shoot in here. Um, it's always awesome when companies work with artists and allow us to get in. And, and you know, I know a lot of photographers watching this are going to say, well, how do you get into these places? I've established a reputation for getting into these places, being respectful careful and um, so companies are a lot more prone to allow me to come in here because of my track record so just keep that in mind guys put in your dues put in your dues and then doors will open for you is the truth um, a7r3 135 Canon f2 and the metabones all did great one last thing Sony please make us a mount 135 1.8 please Santa Maria Guadalupe por favor um, but uh, <laughs> But uh, that would be my on my Christmas wish list. It's only, as of the filming of this, it's only two weeks until Christmas, so we're hoping 
I don't think it's going to come in 2017. Christmas but Miracle. Christmas Miracle, a 135 mm -hmm. E-mount. That's not a 2.8. Zeiss Battis. Boo. <laughs> it's great. Zeiss Battis is great stuff, but 2.8. Boo. Anyways, um, thank, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click on notifications and subscribe. Guys, if you want to see the videos, click on notifications because it's a crazy day and age where everything happens. And if you want to be notified, you got to be notified by notification. Until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams, find a regular that works for you, and remember... Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Aloha works too. <laughs> Do you know what I say at the end of my videos? Maybe. No? You have to say it. You I'm not going to take your line away. Oh, oh, okay. You only have one chance to get it right. Oh, I do? Yeah. Well, I do, but that's what I say. <laughs> well, I would keep looking at the light. I don't know. <laughs> Go toward the light. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> no retake. I like it. Oh. Hey, you guys still there? Hello? Talking to you. Really? You're still there? That's awesome, guys. Thanks. If you want to continue this learning online, go to patreon.com slash photography, and you can learn alongside me. You can watch my screens. You can edit with me. Do all of it from anywhere in the world on any computer, guys. It's the best way to learn if you can't make it to a workshop. If you're crazy and you want to see me in person and you're ready for it, then go to www.jasonlinear.com slash register. You can find a workshop near you and we will have an absolute blast together. It's about inspiration. It's about photography. It's about life. And it's about finding the passion in all of them. So again, guys, if you want to learn online, if you can't make it to a, something in person, patreon.com slash jasonlinearphotography. And if you want to learn in person, jasonlinear.com slash register. Now, the last time I did this, let me see. I'll just do it with my finger this time. <laughs> I love doing that. It just pisses off the pros. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.